and I am back live. So game underway. Let's jump straight in. Just made it before the minions spawn. Did have to go to the uh, little boys' room, obviously doing a solo cast. Doesn't always leave a lot of time to do the things that you need to do. So uh, doesn't look like we've missed anything. So that's all good. Seems like we've seen a five-man blue posh here. This is interesting. I was anticipating a jungle invasion. Not gonna be happening though. Minions have spawned. And here we go. N initial minion spawn now. Now we've got free top here for the uh, the ancient golem. So obviously looking to uh, to get off to a flying start up top. Roast being taken by Rumble and Ari. So again, nothing particularly too exciting from the start here. I've come to expect this from uh, from the German EPS scene, to be honest. Very conservative play, much like the CS GO scene, to be honest. I think it might be a German characteristic. Uh, blue going to be taken by Nautilus, and we are going to see a red start for... We're probably going to see a red start for Volleyball. Yep, Volleyball is already on red, so he's already got his red. Ah. Intriguing to see how uh, how early they actually get a successful gank with Volleyball because he is one of those champions that if you don't get an early gank, he falls under the pressure, to be honest. And he sacrifices a bit of that tankiness for a bit of his speed on the uh, Pops' Q, of course, but... What you can find with that is that it does lead to, uh, if, you don't, if you're not successful with that early gank... Now, we have a lane swap here, this is interesting. Varus and Zyrotop against uh, Rumble. And then we got Shen Bottom against Ez and Sona. So, Rumble seems to be getting the better of this so far. Not particularly losing too many minions through Terry. He's not really taking any damage. Volleyball being pinged mid, so he's obviously been spotted here. D Man on Twisted Fate. So, two lots of global presence here from uh, ESC. Dragon fight's very interesting indeed. In fact, you're gonna have to keep that in mind, to be honest. Alright, Ari fast back onto tower here, that's to be expected. Demon does, uh, does clear ways a bit quicker. And here we go, Nautilus coming up for the help, so even if it's not a gank, it's, uh, it's obviously gonna help uh, Rumble here. And Volleyball's not gonna be too far behind on bottom. Obviously, the potential to do a lot of damage on the early gank with Volley. And Rumble taking a ton of damage. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like Rumble's going to get into. Uh, sorry, Volley's going to get into position here to do anything to really help Bottom. It's not like Shen needs to help clearing the uh, the farm. He seems to be cautious to be doing quite well at that on his own. I don't think he wants to, uh, to bleed XP to uh, for Volley either, so. Meanwhile, Rumble now seems to be struggling a little bit at top. Now, Shen going to uh, gonna shadow dash forward. Didn't really connect with anything, though. Misses the Vorpal Blade. Ooh, bro, like taking two tower hits. That's going to set that lane back a little bit here. It's not like Zyra can throw at the heels after all. Rumble seems quite content to just stay exactly where he is, stay as close to his tower as possible. He is going to be hugging that tower for the considerable future, I imagine. Damage being done by Zyra. You can see bottom Shen seems back on top of uh, his lane here. So again, nothing particularly exciting happening in the first five minutes. It seems like this uh, slow, steady, conservative play from the uh, German scene yet again. Oh, saying that, spoke too soon. Blood Dragon with a good pull. That's going to be Demon shut down for the first blood. That's going to be over to Ari. And you can see bottom being pushed as well, so. Ooh, Rumble taking a lot of damage top. Varus going to trade that tower hit for the amount of damage you put out every day. Every day. Uh, Caruso forced back here, so no real help for Shen. Looking like we are going to see Rumble go back, yep. So he's going to concede quite a bit of damage to his tower. Yep, in fact, the tower goes down, so Rumble going to make sure he gets the farm here. 
no point in giving that up. Looks like we are going to see a back here from uh, Entzenweg. I'm not even sure you pronounce that. Entzenweg, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Entzenweg, even. Uh, and uh, Son are going to go back. So Intox and uh, Werg are going to go back and buy. Let's look at the health on that bottom tower. It seems like we have had a lane switch again. So Shen going to be going back top here. Half health, so that's a good trade here. Shen going to go top now. He's been able to hold his old against uh, level 6 Rumble. Even considering that he is only level 5. Obviously he's been back to uh, to buy up. He's got a... Ooh, that's interesting. He's got a... Uh, cutlass on him, so... In fact, sorry, that's Zed, actually. I'm looking at the wrong... Yeah, I'm thinking he's got a skin on. Looks like it doesn't show on the character selection, does it? In fact, it was Zed the whole time. I don't know why I was saying shit. I guess because I saw what looked like a shadow guy. <laughs> anyway, D-Man is going to be picked again here if he's not careful. Nautilus taking too much damage to actually uh, capitalize on that. And it looks like Caruso is going to pick up the kill. That's going to be the jungle on jungle. Nicely done. Kevko going to, to uh, turn pace, though. And he turns around onto uh, TF, picks up that frag. So, 2-1. One. one tower in favor of uh, ESC, of course. Two kills in favor of N Faculty. Standard lanes here, so deciding the lane switch uh, has played its part now. As you can see, Caruso, he's been forced to hold mid here. He's just letting the uh, siege minions take as, as much as they can from the tower. Kevco going to go back and pick up blue. Obviously, the, uh, the blue spawned considerably longer, long time ago. He's going to start that off for him. His counterpart's blue still up as well, so. Is again content to just uh, sit on the tower here and farm away. Right, so. Nice there and Broeki, though, they're going to start chipping away at that tower, and eventually that's going to turn into a, a free farm lane. This dragon fight shouldn't be far away here. I can see Volleyboy's thinking about it, maybe. And he decided he's going to go back a little bit. So he's going to go take his golems. Here we go, Twisted Fate decides to pop, and that's going to be the, uh, the stun card, but I have to really follow it up now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. True Shot Barrage missing, and here we go, that's the opportunity to go for the Dragon. Now they've pulled that True Shot Barrage out, they know it can't really be stolen. Unless Nautilus can do something special here, which he's going to be too late to the, uh, to the party. And Dragon does go the way of uh, ESC here, so advantage ESC, they've got pretty much a 2k advantage on the board. Global objectives obviously going in their favour. They've picked up two of them so far. So Zed and Volleyball are going to help out. In fact, no, Zed's going to go back, so he's going to be left to uh, D-Man here. He's been jumped on by Ari, and this is probably going to be a kill. The charm comes off. Knight is on, and there's the kill. Nicely done. Are we going to see the return kill? Yep, there we go. Zed jumps in for the uh, return kill onto uh, Ari, but... Again, we're seeing a situation here where Twisted Fate seemingly feed him. 0, 3, and 2 so far. Not had much luck in the, uh, the German scene as TF. It's kind of unusual because uh, at the moment he's considered somewhat OP. So the counter to that is just to get on top of him so the stun doesn't really work. Uh, Northless double buffed. He's just going to be wasting a little bit of mana. He's going to go take his wolves. Again, there's pressure back on bottom tower here, so... Varus and Zara definitely having the better of the, uh, the bottom engagements. Maxine yeah. and faculty do have a uh, kill advantage here. You wouldn't know that from the, uh, the actual gold. Still almost that 2k differential. Broeki pretty much a whole way ahead of uh, work here, so. 
doesn't work. He's he's got his work cut out for him now. Be careful here, the uh tower's gonna take away, you know, enough farm to make it almost an impossible lane to play. Rumble pinging up towards red, not quite sure. Oh, I know he's pinging. He's pinging the ward though. Again being forced back by Zed here. Zed's going to be something pretty pretty, largely in part to that kill on Ari, of course. And here we go, Volleyball going in, 3 on 1. Twisted Fate coming in from behind, can Volleyball stay alive long enough? No he can't, Demon and Broek are going to take a lot of damage here. 4 on 1, looking at like Enfax here, going to roll over them here, nicely done. Did of course see this in the first game though, where in fact it looked like they was uh, you know dominating the early game, but not taking control of the objectives. <laughs> Can we see Brock and Zara actually hold out here? Nope. But we are gonna see the root does come in, but damage has been done as the kill is picked up. It was too far away from the tower to really draw the aggro that was required though onto uh, Ez. So, level up towers now. Pretty much well, in fact, that's the first time in fact you've actually had the leading cash. A lot of this has been left up to Volleyball now to uh, to right the wrongs that have been done on bottom. I've not really shown anything on bottom that's uh, that's really helped Zyra and uh, Ez. North is coming back mid, he's going to clear up his farm. Ooh, now we're missing that pull. That could have been devastating if it would have pulled him back into uh, tower aggro range. Did break the aggro, so it's not like the hits would have stacked, but still. And Demon gonna go pick himself at the rave camp, so. I don't think ESC gonna be too stressed about being, uh, you know, five kills behind here, but. Especially considering we've got Dragon. Well, we did have the Dragon, of course, the first Dragon, so. Probably in about two minutes' time, you're gonna see the uh, fight that's gonna lead to the mid game control. Broak does manage to pick out Intox. Could put damage done there, but against Soma, so oh well. Mm, Kevco going on a stroll, he's just rewarding it into the uh, enemy jungle side. Looks like he's gonna be going picking up his blue as well, so. Next time TF has to deal with Ari, it's gonna be uh, to say the least, an awkward fight. It looks like we are seeing a bit of uh, push coming up from the bottom. Are they going to try and get mid here? They're going to have to fight to get though. Good crescendo landed. Volleyball showing up just at the right time though. He does manage to get the uh, the pitch onto uh, Az. Demon chasing down Sona. Is this going to be a kill? Yep, it is going to be a kill. Nicely done. As is so low, he's going to have to back here for sure. Putting down a vision ward, so I'm not putting much stock into Elixir here. And Brock is going to be pushing, he's just going to try and get his lane out as far as possible. And we'll see that Northless is there, so he's going to try and bait him in here. Yep, there we go, there's a turn. Zyra's still hanging back as well, so this isn't going to work out well for Northless. Koi and Wheezy still just exchanging uh, damage top. I think either of those two are going to be... Well, saying that Rumble's probably capable of taking down Zed at this point. He does have the Rumble's items. does have the advantage on items. You've only got Blade, Blade of the Ruined King and uh, the uh, Rejuvenation Beads up for um, Zed. Here we go. First Dragon, second Dragon as well for us. Trying to steal the true shot barrage, but just a little bit late in the timing there. Like I said before, though, this level of play, you are going to see staggered damage on that dragon. Right? So people are going to hold back spells and such, just to try and throw off your actual uh, your actual aim. So Intox and company, after uh, having a slight goal lead there for a while, they now find themselves again back on the back foot. 
need help with the uh, Sona kill from Demon as well. Uh, mid being pushed. Ari is the uh, the one guiding light here for him, faculty. If anybody is capable of a carry here, it will be uh, it will be Lord Kevco. Uh, see, Koi being forced back. He's going to flash out of the uh, <laughs> flash out of the Rumble Ultimate. He's managed to escape. Let's see, nice toss there from Volley as well. It's going to get a bit of tower uh, aggro onto. Uh, I believe that was, was it Northlust that he actually just hit with that one? Just double check. Yeah, it was, in fact, no, it was Rumble actually that he tossed. So, another turret going. 2-1 to one here, the scoreline. Right, we are going to see uh, perhaps even a third one here for end faculty. Oh, TF showing just at the right time to stop that. So still a 500 gold advantage here for uh, ESC. Right, Ari perhaps getting a little bit overconfident there, and the roots come out as well. That's going to be a kill. Yeah, Broleki picking up that uh, frag, and it's looking like we are going to see uh, Word chase down as well. Northwest does show up just in time to uh, to get the save in here. Saying that, are we going to see a dive? Uh, there we go, double kill. Nicely done. Uh, not a double kill on any one player, but I mean two kills in uh, rapid succession, of course. So mid tower is going to be pushed here and taken. We're going to see a back and buy off this. Let's have a quick peek at who's buying what so far. Said going straight up AD. No tank there at all. Rumble, he's got the uh, the tome, so I'm not sure he's going to build off that. He's already got the Seeker's Arm Guard as well, so he's a little bit tanky here at this point. Northwest has managed to, uh, to get the Spirit of the Ancient Golem off early. Well, boots of mobility, so... It's going to be pretty good for the gank, but as you can see, Volleyball's got the, uh, the Iron Solari as well, so it's the perfect counter. Looks like he's also going to be building, uh, he's got Madra's Razors, so I imagine he's probably going to build the Wriggles at some point. Uh, which Bane on TF? 1, 4, and 2 on TF again, though, so if uh, ESC do have a weak point, it is that TF mid. Just clean up the uh, the race. Volleyball taking his race, so is he gonna take the red as well or is he gonna call over uh Vitalis? No, he looks like he's gonna take the red for himself. Probably a good idea considering he does have boots of mobility, so I'm looking to uh, get the slows off red. See Zed making his way down, so we're starting to slowly move away from the lane phase now, and it's getting to the point where team fighting is going to be the uh, of utmost importance. So as you can see, the five kill deficit has been reduced to a one kill deficit, and the cash starting to get away here from uh, from our faculty. Uh, Ari jumping in, forcing the flash out of Koi. Well, that's going to be overextending there by, by far. Intox going to take down uh, Caruso though. Koi caught out of position yet again. Like D-Man is going to pick up a frag though, so not one-way traffic by any stretch of the imagination. That one kill differential, now a two kill differential, but as you can see it's going to open up mid and I think the amount of damage that was put out here by uh, by the guys over on ESC is going to mean that they can perhaps take another tower here. Yeah, North was taking a ton of damage, he's forced back so this tower should fall. Another seven seconds till the run was up, so... Ez is going to force him away, yeah. Ez just about forced him away though, so saves the tower, but that uh, inner tower is looking pretty damn vulnerable here at this point. Still low, good job holding on to it, I have to say. And Dragon should be up again in about a minute and a half here, by my reckoning. Happily farming away up top. Let's take a look at the farm. Speaking of, uh, speaking of minion kills, 
141 plays 139 on top, so Zed does have a slight advantage there. Obviously, he's got two kills as well as opposed to uh, one death and two assists, so he's uh, he's got the advantage here, most definitely, over Rumble. The most important, though, is going to be Ez against Varus. They're pretty much equal here. Slight advantage because of the extra kill and extra... Well, extra kill, but one less assist, so I suppose they might be just about even here when you, you factor in the, uh, the global goal from the, uh, the turrets and such. Could check that, but I'm just too lazy to be honest. And it's obviously, uh, we have a dragon fight coming up as well, so I don't want to be playing around with, uh, with gold and such. And we are going to see a fully committed dragon, uh, and it looks like we are going to see another tower fall to minions as well. So, ESC back into uh, a dominant position here. We've still got that mid tower as well, he's had to take it. Now, Northwest is caught out of position here, he's going to have to go in and fight. He needs a damage true shot barrage coming in. It's looking like Caruso is going to be dropped, but he does manage to pick up the kill onto uh, it's going to be Sona. Double kill for him. And this is Simon with the roots. He's going to get his kill to Nautilus. And De well, in fact, did Demon steal it? Eight. Yeah, he did. Nicely done. <laughs> so, the dragon going to go away of ESC here, as well as the uh, majority of the kills. So, a five for three. And now we do see dragon going as well. So, the fact that they're tower up, they've had control of the dragon the whole game. And now they're going to find themselves handsomely in the lead. You're talking uh, over 5k difference, though. Plus that mid tower is so low. I mean, if you just take a look at that mid tower, pretty much if, uh, if Varus does decide to commit to that, he will be able to take that down just by tanking it himself. Not that's advisable, of course. Yeah, that's interesting. Home guard already being picked up, picked up by Werg. So obviously, uh, and faculty of the defensive mind here. As you can see, top lane has quite a big wave on it. TF's going to get there in time to, uh, to clear that before they put too much damage on the tower. Now red being picked up by uh, Ez, so... He's going to be looking to do some damage in a 1 versus 1 here, but... Whether we can find that 1 versus 1, I mean, D-Man, say what you will about his TF play so far. He's, uh, he's been pretty smart about his position and such, so... Now he's actually 4, 4 and 3 now, so the uh, double kill and the kill into Sona. I'm not sure where his fourth kill came from, but did pick up the final kill in the ace of the, uh, the last engagement, of course. Again, trying to be pushed out here. I'm just trying to keep the minions off the tower because the second those minions hit that tower, that inner, inner turret is actually gone from my mind. Uh, Cog going in on Sleazy Weezy. Lots of damage being done and the kill's going to come in for sure here. No, good flash. Time to flash coming in. That's going to take Koi out for sure. Yep, good play from Sleazy Weezy. And there's Kevco with the other uh, kill onto TF as well. So, in fact, he's not down and out by any stretch of the imagination here. Oh, they are still looking at just under a 6k difference on gold. Wall clearing expedition here whilst they've got the uh, one, well, two man advantage, I should say. Are they actually going to go for Baron here? Yeah, they're going to do it. It's a gutsy move. TF isn't going to be. How's he going to be up? He might just get up and he might get his ultimate in now. Oh, Varus is going to force them off that for sure. Going in. Good route from Zyra as well. This is going to be a oh, this is going to be a complete fold here on that on that Baron fight. Rolecki's managed to get out as well. Zyra doing a ton of damage. Is that Ignite going to take over? Yep, there's the Ignite. TF going to come in as well. There should be an ace here off the back of this. Only Rumble to find. As you can see, Rumble's not going to be able to do anything. So the, uh, the Baron going the opposite way from, from what they would have hoped. All Rumble can really do here is push out the, uh, the waves as far as he can before it becomes completely overwhelmed. They're obviously going to push mid, I would say. Probably get mid and... Maybe just mid, actually. Uh, mid in the blue. As we have the spawn. I do believe the SC have the timing on the, uh, the enemy jungle here. So, back to bike. They're going to put Nash to good use here. 
through shot barrage, missing completely. Saying that, did it just touch Varus? Nope, Varus managed to get out of the way of it, so... Complete fail on the ultimate there from Ez. And you can see Demon quite happily clearing away the uh, the jungle here. Going to go for the red as well. That seems to go to Varus, nicely done. Obviously makes more sense for the AD to carry to, uh, to have that red. So off the back of the uh, the four for z well four for one engagement I should say, that's now going to put the uh, ESC guys back in the lead on kills, 16 to 15, 26 minutes 30 gone, three towers to two with a fourth tower exceptionally susceptible mid, as you can see, and Baron Nasher up as well. I anticipate a push coming in any moment here from uh, from ESC. Varus going to clear out this top wave, and I imagine they'll link up mid after that. That's where you're going to see the push towards uh, the two two game victory here. Despite the exceptional early play from Ari, it's not going to be enough here for my uh, for my money to actually stop ESC taking uh, again what would be much harder fought than the first game. But still, this this now is, is pretty much cruise time for ESC. They've got a 10k gold difference at 27 minutes and 18 seconds. So next dragon should be up in about a minute as well. I'll put them further in front because obviously no chance of contesting that whilst uh, whilst Nash is up. Nautilus trying his best to get the better of Zed. Does manage to put a bit of damage on him, but as you can see, Broeki's top and he's managed to take another tower. So 4 2 here. And there goes the mid tower as well. So 5 2 now in towers. And that should be input to good use. Dragon's going to be up in about 30 seconds from my estimation. And we should see that goal lead get even further away. Oh, here we go. Going down for Dragon now. Is that going to be called over to help out? Of course. No need to go back just yet. And setting up just in case we do see uh, and faculty actually come for the dragon, but I don't think they're going to contest that at this point. In fact, it's going to be a push onto the, uh, the bottom inner. We feel to bet against them taking this. As we can see, it's kind of damage being put out into that tower. With six tower on the board, and now they're probably going to fall back for this dragon, which has just spawned. So, the global goal lead being pushed even further. And now, 11k the difference. You see them trying to, hoping that they're going to come and pick a fight over the dragon, but that's really such a stupid move from Faculty at this point. So, back to buy. Everybody's going to have an abundance of cash. Let's just check out the cash. And as you can see, Everybody with pretty much 2k cash to burn here from uh, ESC. Not the case for M Faculty, however. There's a red pick up on Ez yet again. We see much from Ezra this game. Two, three, and six. So a couple of assists, but nothing that you would, uh, nothing that you would hope for from your AD carrying uh, such a clutch situation. Varus just found him like a boss at this point, as you can see, 200 and, uh, 212 on Varus. Well, Ez has got 212 as well, a lot of that's down to True Shot Barrage, of course. 259, 260 now on TF, as opposed to 209 on Ari. so the early advantage from Ari has been uh, pretty much negated here. Still has a better KDR ratio with uh, more assists, but... A million difference to be honest, it's amount of on TF with the teleport in, here we go, stun card going out. Tons of damage coming in from Kai Demon going to pick up the kill. It looks like Sleazy Weezy is going to be dropped. You see Ez fall as well. Varus going to pick up two kills. TF for one. Ari did manage to reply with one, but as you can see, forcing the, uh, the zombies out here. Bro, I think going to be diving as well. And there's the kill, so looks like we are going to see the inhibit tower fall. And there's the kill onto uh, Sonar as well. So double kill for Varus. Tell we're going to fall here, and that's going to be pretty much all she wrote for this uh, second game, of course. And that means that we are going to see ESC conclude the uh, EPS playoffs in, in, in a two in a two game, really. I mean, all they've got to do now is obviously they've got a full ace to uh, to play with here. In fact, they're going to back off from this. They don't want to uh, overextend. Northwest would probably get a kill onto uh, onto Simon. Imagine he would be taken out by Broeki and Demon in return, but 
That would stop the, uh, the Nexus from falling, so no, no reason to give up that bonus gold. Might as well just play a smart game here. Could even extend this out to uh, a second Baron, to be honest. That should be up in about a minute and a half, I would imagine. In fact, they do live to fight another day here, but I can hear the fat lady in the background. She's uh, she's more than warmed up at this point. She's just about to uh, to take the stage. Right, here we go. Wall clearing expedition again for ESC. Like I say, uh, they haven't done as much of this in the uh, the second map, but that's because they really haven't allowed uh, N faculty to get anywhere near the Baron to place that many wards. So. Especially Dragon as well. I mean, Dragon has been under ESC control since the start. We haven't seen uh, one single Dragon go the way of the faculty. And it's one of the factors as to why we see the uh, massive gold differential that we do. It's the first time in a while we've seen blue picked up by uh, and faculty as well. So we are going to see ESC set up here. Hopefully, catch somebody in jungle. We obviously, know that they're not seen here. I'm going to use Zed as bait by the looks of it. And you've got TF split pushing as well, so... Pressing the advantage here. They have level advantage. Obviously, they have the item advantage, as you can see. Zed already on a black cleaver. And he's got the last whisper to boot as well, so... Anybody he gets close to is going to feel the pain. And here we go, setting up for Baron. Here are the wards. Start that... Pretty much uncontested. Not, nothing that, that in fact we can actually do here. The true shot barrage coming in, but that's just going to help the call, really. So, one more push here, and this should be GG for my money. TF probably going to teleport in when he's needed. Is his ultimate up? Let's have a quick look. And there we go, his ultimate is up, so. Just a case of him jumping in at the, uh, the appropriate time here, and he will change the course of any team fight. Top and hit tower going to be pushed. Should be taken here considering that Nash is up. Plenty of poke coming out from Varus as well. Nothing more irritating than uh, as soon as that chain of corruption and hail of arrows combo hits, that's pretty much you forced out of the fight to be honest. Even Rumble at this point, and he's tried to build somewhat tanky. Still not finished his, uh, it's not finished his war mod yet, though. Pretty much a 20k goal lead. D-Man just destroying Ari now. If that would have been 15, 20 minutes ago, that would have been much closer to an even fight. But, yeah, as you can see, D-Man just... Uh, He's going to cruise into the base here. So we are going to see top tower taken as well. So the only option here is to defend the two Nexus turrets. Defend against the uh, the waves of supers now. As is going to be taken down, looks like Caruso is going to move in, and that's going to be the, pretty much the ace here. So yeah, it is the ace, and it's going to be GG of course. The two Nexus towers going to fall in uh, a matter of seconds. Surprised we haven't seen the surrender here. You can see insult to injury. We are going to see uh, the plant on the uh, the spawn. So. That's going to be the victory, 26 to 18, 68k versus 46. That tells the tale better than I ever possibly could hope to. And uh, really, from this this point now, I, you'd have to consider that ESC are Germany's top LOL team, of course. I uh, would like to see them in, in, you know, some stiffer competition. I will keep an eye out for them in the future. I will uh, try and bring more coverage of ESC. Hopefully, they'll get to play the likes of, uh, you know, of, of some of the top European teams. I know that Dragonborns have, uh, have, have just actually folded, so... Um, maybe, maybe, maybe they will climb the ladder. I mean, we do have some openings out there in the moment in the European scene, so uh, chance that you could see ESC step up their play and, and move into uh, you know what you would consider the upper echelon of European play. The German scene, though, not renowned at the moment for its lol. Um, hopefully, that will change because obviously I'm in Berlin. Uh, I do want to see some good lol in the country that I am residing in. Anyway, let's take a quick peek at your scoreboard, see who did what that game. So after a fairly torrid start where he was zero and four, D-Man actually pulling it back to seven, five, and eight. Um, Volley Burr for my money was probably the uh, the difference maker. He's on eight, four, and twelve. Anytime he got into a team fight, he was just uh, he was just flipping fills like it was cool. Uh, Koi with two, six, and fourteen. So mm, did give up quite a few kills to uh, 
to uh, I gave one to um, Nautilus, I believe, and uh, a couple to, uh, to Sleazy Wheezy, who was playing, of course, as Rumble on top. Um, Varus not doing too bad for himself either, 6, 3, and 15. Uh, we had Zyra on 3, 0, and 11. So not even getting close to shutting Zyra down. And uh, a support of 11k gold, that just shows you the, the global you know, the control that they had over Nasha, Dragon, um, and Towers as well. Really, the only standout player from uh, from M Faculty was probably Lad Kevko, who had a good start on Ari. But a good start on Ari is not enough to as uh, a counteract the whole uh, whole five man rush down mid, which uh, we did see time and time again. Um, from the point forward, that that we did see the uh, the second and third ba uh, third uh, dragon, I should say, go under uh, ESC control. There wasn't much way of getting back into that game. Anyway, I've been Jay Atkins for the uh, the crew here at Interlol. I'm going to bid you adieu. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to have plenty more coverage coming up in the very near future, so you want to keep it locked to my Twitch channel. Also, I am on Facebook with a fan page. Not my choice, to be honest. If I had it my way, I'd just keep the Twitter. But unfortunately, uh, under German laws, I can't actually promote anything through my own personal Facebook page, so I had to create a fan page. Uh, of course, you can follow me on Twitter, Jason underscore Atkins. And uh, there will be, of course, the Interlaw website that's going to feature uh, a, co a coverage hub for all my kind of stuff. So probably the best way for keeping up with my League of Legends coverage is to check out Interlaw. It's a great news site, of course. The guys here at Freaks for you do a good job of keeping it up to date. And uh, they are going to be putting a lot more focus on that in the very near future because it has been a little bit underutilized. Uh, the past week or so, they've really stepped up coverage, though, so I employ you to check that out. Anyway, from me, I, I, uh, I'm going to bid you guys a good night. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the LCS coverage, which is no doubt going on. I'm going to jump on that right now and see what's going on, because I know Dignitas are playing at the moment, I believe. Um, hopefully that's going to be a good game, because obviously, you know, Dignitas UK organization, uh, I'd like to see them doing well, because UK esports, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, mm, it's always been the sort of, lack of a better term, I, I know I'm ginger, so... Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna hurt me more. It's gonna hurt Dignitas, but the UK scene has always been sort of the redheaded stepchild in uh, in European esports. So uh, nice to see that you know we do have a team out there that are capable of competing at a world level. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna skedaddle now, and uh, obviously I get these vods up as soon as it's humanly possible. Do need to set my YouTube channel up properly. The uh, the address that you see at the bottom of the screen is not the current address. Something to do with Google Plus for some reason. It's not letting me change the uh, the actual URL. I've got to figure that out. As soon as I do that, I will put up all the vods that I have created recently. It's quite a few of them now as well. It's probably about including the CS GO tournaments. I've been doing probably about ten vods that need to go up. So I think my Monday's pretty much uh, pretty much sorted. I'm gonna be editing and uh, uploading all day. So, from myself, from everybody at Interlow, good night, and we shall catch you on the flip side.